In this video, I'll be covering how to handle limits using Hawk WIMS. The first step is to set up variables with limits. So in this case, I went to System Setup, Edit View Variables, and I want to set up my regulatory limits for Effluent TSS. So if I go ahead and I browse using my variable browser to my Effluent TSS variable, I pull it up and notice right here I have entry limits. Entry limits are simply warning limits when users enter data. It'll say, hey, that number's above 100. It's not meant to be a regulatory limit. It's only meant to warn the user that that data may not be correct. In order to handle regulatory limits, we want to use the limits tab here in variable setup. So what I have here is uh, my list of limits. In this case, I haven't set any up for effluent TSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click new and add a new regulatory limit in. The first step is to choose my limit name. We have a series of built-in ones. So Dmax stands for a daily maximum limit. So let's say in my permit I have a limit of 60 on any daily value. So I choose Dmax and it says when the value is greater than and in this case, I would type in 60. So here we're testing for a violation or, or an exceedance. In other words, 61 will be positive, which means it's going to count. WIMS is going to count that as a violation. I can also set the dates for my limits. So in this case, I'm going to take the default and just say it runs, runs from 2005 through 2019. Go ahead and click OK, and it adds that limit in. I'm going to do New and add a second limit in because I also have a monthly average limit. So I choose M max, monthly average maximum limit. And here I'm going to do, I'm going to group the data monthly. I'm going to calculate the average and I'm going to compare it to 30. We have a variety of different groupings and statistics to help you match your permit. And again, in this case, Usually it's going to be monthly average for uh, a lot of your limits. But if you're doing it to fecal coliform, you may have to do a geometric mean. Uh, you can also do totals. In this case, average is correct. And again, I have different groupings. If I have weekly averages, it will ask me to define my week. So in this case, I'm going to go back to month. If I'm greater than 30 for a monthly average, I'm in violation. So I've set up my limits. I'm going to exit out of here. And now let's go enter in some data. So I have a TSS form set up on my dashboard. So go ahead and click it and it loads that form up. And I'm going to go back to last month, October. So now I see my affluent TSS parameter here. And I've got a couple more numbers to type in. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, um, let's say, 66. And it comes up and it tells me it's a violation. If I click yes, it highlights it in a light yellow color telling you that it's a violation. If I type in 122 and hit enter, it says it's outside the normal range and it's a violation. So if I click yes, it changes it the background color. And if I type in a normal number, let's just say 24, it just takes the number, enters it into the system, and goes on its merry way. Notice my monthly average is 33. So I've got a couple of violations here. So let's go and report on those now that I've entered the data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to design a quick report in our spread report generator. Click in here. Go to locate daily values. Choose my effluent TSS variable again. Place date beside data. Go ahead and click OK, and I see my data. Now, it doesn't do anything with violations. It just, the report in general, just puts the data into the report. So here I'm going to highlight that range of cells. I'm going to go to Format Conditional Formatting. So right here I can say when value of cell is greater than. And what I can do here is I can choose my daily max limit. Okay. Now I could have typed in 60 here, but by choosing daily max limit, if I change my limit, if my permit ends and my limit gets dropped to let's say 40, then this report's automatically going to work. So I have to say daily max limit, but for which variable? So again, I'm just going to choose my effluent TSS here. 
And what I want to do is, let's say I want to set the background color to yellow. Click OK. And it's going to highlight my two violations in yellow. So right here, I'm going to now locate my group summary. I'm going to calculate, or my report summary, I'm going to calculate my monthly average for that variable. Choose the variable, choose average, make sure I've got the right dates, might as well place it beside the data, know that I really am talking about. So my average is 33, and now what I can do is I can also locate number of violations. So again, in this case, it will give me the count of violations. So again, I'll choose TSS, and it comes up with the two limits. And it says the current limit. So that's for the date range that I pulled up. It's going to show me the current limits that are, in, that are going to be applied. And here I'm going to check off that I want to count both of them. Go ahead and click OK. And right here it says I have three violations. So I've got one, two daily violations. And I've also exceeded my monthly average violation. Now notice the formula here bring it up. It uses the VIOL, so that's just a spread formula. You can hit F1 and get help on it. And it would read like, for variable 4041, take the value, no statistic, and compare it to the D max limit, that daily max limit, plus, so we added them together, for the same variable, calculate the monthly average and compare it to the monthly max limit. So that's how it comes up with the three. So it added those two together. I can save this report for, for future use. I can also do things like locate this number of violations into a DMR report or many different ways. So the violation is a very powerful formula. In this case, I don't need to save this report. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. And one last thing we want to look at with violations is we do have an event tracker. And what the events will do is it can log any violations and show them to you. So right here, I'm going to go back and I want to scan for events in October. Now I already have a couple of events in here because data has been previously entered. So TSS is outside the entry max. This isn't a regulatory violation. It's just saying, hey, that number is a little bit different or weird. It's outside your entry range. So there's a warning. But if I scan now, it will come up and it'll say my effluent TSS, it violated and it uh, violated on 1030. Your 122 is greater than your limit of 60. And right here, it says your monthly average was violated. So these events, you can come in here, scan and see exactly what's going on with your entire system with violations and exceedances. That's it for handling violations and entering in your permit requirements into WIMS. Thank you.